Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, just studying on the word of God. Um, hey guys, what's up? My name is Tim. I'm the social media pastor for Elevation Youth. And here's the deal. You have come back again for week three of this incredible e-group time. Maybe you're not an, in an e-group right now. Maybe you're kind of alone in the car right now watching this going, what the heck are you talking about? Don't worry, watch this video. I promise you, you will enjoy it. And make sure you subscribe and comment and let us know what you liked about this particularly. Now here's the deal. If you are in your e-group right now, get ready. This one is one of my favorite conversations with Pastor Mike Todd. And I really think it's gonna get to the heart of this generation, to the heart of you. And so take notes, enjoy it, be ready, be writing some questions as it's happening so when your leader asks, you can hit them back with another thing, all right? We'll see you, peace. This is what I tell our staff and our team. I said, we're representing to the generation right now, but we're presenting to the next generation. Yeah. Like we gotta represent, because they already have a, a thought process of what God is and da 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 da. But if we can present for the first time the right version of God, do you know how stuck wow. that gets? And that's why what you're doing with the middle school, I mean, cause sixth grade is where I learned everything. Like, yeah, bro, I really? was, oh my God, my mind was blown. And I know for a lot of people, it's even younger now, but six, I learned everything bad that I know in sixth grade, <laughs> middle, middle school boys locker. Yeah. Like it was, but I had no godly influence that was even, remotely relevant in my sphere okay to to give truth yeah to counteract culture and my parents love god and believed in everything like that but they don't want to be most christian parents don't want to be the people who expose their kids to stuff and so yeah. it's a catch-22 because you hope they don't know but you know they know stuff, yes. but you're not gonna say anything because if they start exploring, you don't wanna be the reason that they did it. Mm -hmm. And so they learn everything from people who don't have a godly perspective. Gosh. And so it's a vicious cycle. And then parents in high school are like, I didn't even know you did that. Uh -huh. And it's like, I've been doing this for three years. Yeah. Like, and, and so it's really time for just the masks to come off, man. And for us to really be honest and vulnerable and know that there's an answer in the word of god for everything yeah and uh so yeah it's it's i'm glad y'all are doing what you're doing bro. and then i think too like i was even i was talking to someone um one of the youth directors and i said i feel like we just have everything at our fingertips where we're able to have people like you coming in and speaking that stuff from from experience and being able to be real and relatable and, you know, just like you said, hot, humble, yeah. open. Transparent. To the, and, and that's what they cling to. Think yeah. about YouTube, yeah. these vlogs, these yeah. like, yeah. Just, I'm just watching someone clean their house and they've got 8 million views. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And yeah. it's like, but you're just seeing real life. That's it. You know, that's what they want to see. That's it. And w once, once we come clean, with how to live this Christian life. Yeah. The flaws and all. Yeah. It becomes more attractive than anything on Absolutely. the planet. And that's why I can't ever, I mean, I can't speak stuff that I don't go through. I can't, I can't talk to you about something that is theory. Yeah. Like there are things that I'm still learning and there's topics and things in the word that God's still teaching me because it has to be authentic. If it's not authentic, can't force and it. People don't get with it. Yep. That's why reality TV has skyrocketed because, <laughs> I mean, they would rather watch somebody's real drama or even perceived real drama yep. than to watch something that's scripted and written and all that other yep. stuff because it just feels more like this could actually be a part of my life yeah. and I could use that. And so, yeah, Gosh. we got to figure it out. And I'm glad that you guys are on that road to really making it relevant to this next generation is yeah. power. But that's y'all's church. Like, and that's the beautiful yeah. thing about Elevation Church. Pastor Steven has been given a vision and not to water it down. Like oh that's gosh. the, that's, I mean, that's the thing. If you ask me, there's a lot of people out here trying to be relevant, but yeah. it's so weak. Like it's yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. like, 
Like, I, I wouldn't be changed by that. <laughs> it, like, if it had pampers on yeah. it. Like, it wouldn't, like, that wouldn't, like, but the power, the relevance, the approval of God, the anointing that's on stuff is just, it's changing, it's changing the world. And yeah. it's, it's exciting to see and to be a part of. Oh, 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 o